Hey everyone, welcome to Crystal's Literary Lounge. I'm Crystal, and today I thought I would do a voiceover uh, for a few videos. That way I could get them out. It's the holidays here, and voiceover is way easier to do than trying to edit a full video. Today I'm going to talk about 24 books that I really want to read in 2024. This is a mixture of some new releases and then some books that have been out for a while or came out last year and I really wanted to read them. I just did not get a chance to read them yet. So first up is The Hurricane Wars. Don't know much about this. I know that the author and this book started off as Rilo fan fiction and then it got picked up by a publishing company I've heard good things about it. It's on the Goodreads Choice Awards. So I've been wanting to read this. I also have the seven year slip. So last year I found Ashley Poston and I read Dead Romantics. Absolutely love that book. So I have high hopes for the seven year slip and I look forward to reading many more books by this author. I also want to read Ninth House and Shadow and Bone. So I've watched the Shadow and Bone series on Netflix, absolutely loved it, and I thought I really need to read these books. I've never read it. And this year I'm trying new things. I'm trying to read other genres that I normally don't read. So I thought maybe I would read some Dark Academia, and Ninth House sounded like one of the ones that I might like. I also want to read Thornhedge. Uh, I hear that this is like a, a retelling. So I've been in, especially in January, I plan on reading a lot of retellings. So hopefully I will like this. And then I want to read another new author. I've not read this author before. I hear really good things about them. And I'm really into like romanticy now. So I thought I would give From Blood and Ash and Fall of Ruin and Wrath a try. Hopefully I'll like them. Another new author is um, Holly Black. I want to read The Cruel Prince. Never read Holly Black. Never read any of her books at all. And The Cruel Prince I want to read this year, especially in February. In February I'm looking towards reading books about like the Fae or the Seely or Unseely. So we'll give that a try then. Allie Hazelwood is an author I've heard lots of good things about. Never read any of their stuff. So I thought I would read Love Hypothesis. She also want to read Butcher and Blackbird. This is basically a serial killer romance is what I, I think. It sounded like really funny as well as a little quirky. And so I was like, that sounds some, like something I would like. I also want to read... Starling House. And then I have Dane's Mark. This is going to be the newest in Laura Lee's Breed series. I absolutely love this series. It's been several years since she's put out a book in the series. And this character is actually one that I've been waiting so long for one of, for this book to come out. I have high hopes for it. So hopefully it doesn't let me down. And then I have uh, The Wrath by Gina Showalter. This is in um, a new series by Gina. This is, I think, book three or four in the series. And it's a spinoff of her Lords of the Underworld. So it's using a lot of the same characters that didn't get their books yet. So now that that series has wrapped up. And I'm really excited for the two characters that are in this one. I also can't wait. This is another new author that I found this year. This was actually my favorite book of the year. It was, um, I loved Assistant to the Villain. And so Apprentice to the Villain is coming out and I can't wait to read it. I hope that it is just as good as Assistant to the Villain. I also want to read The X Hex. I'm really trying to get into rom-coms. I want to read Wisteria by Adeline Grace, an author that I found this year, fell in love with and can't wait for that book three to come out. Also, of course, Imperium book three with Divine Rivals. 
I've heard lots of good things about it. And I'm hoping that that's one that I would like. My Dark Romeo is a dark romance. I have only read, I think, three dark romances. And I read Our Hideous Progeny. I love, absolutely love Frankenstein. And this is like a new take on Frankenstein, like that sort of theme. I also want to read Immortal Longings. I really know nothing about that. I think it's either you love it or you hate it. Hopefully I'll love it. One Dark Window. Year of the Witching. And Into the Drowning Deep. So that is 24 books that I plan to read in 2024. I chose these. I kind of narrowed down. I have a really, really long list of books that I want to read. It was a hundred books, but I'm sort of at the mercy of what I can get from the library. And so I chose these 24 because I definitely can get them from my library and I have high hopes that these will be well liked. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know in the comments what books you're looking forward to reading in 2024 and I will See you in the next video.